Hey guys, it's Peggy here with Citrus Templates and today I am showing you my newest template which is a real estate CRM using Notion. Um, so I discovered Notion maybe about a year ago um, and I first created a Notion template for uh, real estate transactions um, which is very similar to what I had used um, with Trello before uh, but then I created it into Notion and honestly if I had known about Notion while I I was you know doing real estate transactions I probably wouldn't have used Trello uh, but I probably would have used Notion and so one of the things that I've always wanted to do was to also create a CRM in Notion. Um, I already have a very popular um, CRM that is in Google Sheets. Um, so if you are really familiar with Google Sheets and you want to use a CRM in Google Sheets, you can definitely check that one out. But I would definitely encourage you to look at Notion as another option. I do think it is more flexible. And after you know creating the sheet and working with it, there are a lot of more advantages, I think, and a little bit easier to use um, with Notion than Google Sheets. So uh, I will include links to all of that stuff so you can take a look and see um, you know, which one works for you. But let's dive into this uh, real estate CRM, which is created in Notion. So how this works is um, you we have um, all of these dashboards um, and then you have a database for your contacts. Um, and so let me dive into this contacts first. So this is where all of your contacts are going to be housed. And so and you've got, you know, your name, the status and you can choose, you know, which status they're in. Are they, you know, a new lead, pre-qualified, active, pending, um, closed or just a junk lead now. You can also create more leads. Uh, more statuses if you need or, or change the names of these if you want. Um, and then you're, you also have your client type. So you can have, are they a buyer, a seller, a landlord, renter, a past client? And you can use more than one tag. So maybe they are a past client, they have been a buyer with you, they're they currently buying and selling. Um, so you can definitely do more than one tag um, for the client type here. Okay, so I'm going to exit out there. Then you've got their contact information, uh, lead source. Again, you can change these lead sources and add um, ones that are relevant to you. Um, and then we've also got our um, uh, new lead date. So that's the day that they first came in contact um, with you. Um, and then we've got our the last contact date. So that's the last day that you talked with them. Um, and then here, then you can set your follow up date. So let's say today, um, you know, you it's May 20 first today um, you know you talk with them today and then you've decided okay I really need to follow up with them next week um, and so you can just pick the day that you want to follow up with them you can also include the time uh, or an, uh, if you want as well and a reminder here too um, and then the next part is kind of their buyer journey so if you can check off like where they are, have they gotten pre-approved? Have they signed a buyer's agreement with you? Are they under contract or are they um, already closed? So you can kind of go through this process um, and kind of see where they are in that in those stages. And then you can also add a timeline. So, you know, if you are talking to somebody and you realize that they're not going to be, you know, buying for a year, you can just tag them as like one plus years. And this is really helpful if you, um, you know, want to sort through your leads and say, hey, hey, who are the next few leads that are that are planning to close in zero to three months or want to buy or sell in zero to three months? So you can see the timeline here. And then finally, you can uh, you can do by property type as well. Like, are they looking for certain properties? And again, you can do multiple. So maybe they're looking for single family, new construction. They're all over the place. Um, you know, so you can tag them with more than one. And this is really, um, I think, to keep track of kind of what not only keep track of what they're looking for, but also let's say you have a listing that's coming up. You can go search your database for the buyers, um, you know, who are interested in that type of listing. And, you know, maybe you can do you know an off-market sale to one of your other clients uh, something like that so uh, it's just a really great way that you can kind of organize your information about all of your leads and in the future be able to easily find and sort and filter uh, to find the exact leads that you need 
Okay, so this is the entire contact database. You're not actually going to be entering in anybody here because it is a little bit, um, you know, cumbersome to kind of like go through all of this stuff. Um, so where we're going to actually be is, you know, we're going to go back to the dashboard. Okay, and I've made it really simple that all you have to do is click this button uh, to add a new contact. So let's say like you're, you know, somebody calls you and you, um, you know, you need to, you need to get their contact information. You can immediately just just go here and say add new contact and then um, you know do you, all you do is you know just update their their name here it already sets them to new and their contact date as today uh, and then you know then you can then put in their um, you know any additional information here and then this card is basically it stays with them so you can also enter here like okay looking for a two bedroom condo, you know, in Arlington. And you can write these notes down like referral from a Jane or something like that, right? So you can keep all of these notes here. Now my recommendation is um, you preface this with like phone call on 521. So you know exactly when you talk to this person. And of course you can bold this or you can make this into a heading. So then, you know, you can keep kind of a running list here of, okay, here's the next, Next time I talk to them, you know, like, like you can just write an email, like called, called five, you know, 22 left voicemail or something like that. So you can actually keep all of your notes in here along with all of your contact information here. And I think this is really the value of Notion is, you know, you can combine, you know, notes and, and like things that you may maybe put in like a Google Doc, but you also have that power of kind of a spreadsheet, a database where you can search. Um, and because in Google Sheets, uh, it is really difficult to put notes in um, and especially longer notes in. And so this is a great alternative where you can keep both your notes and um, you know your your database kind of spreadsheet information as well so so that's it and then so that's that's how you would add a lead in here and then and then you can see once we get to the contact database you see you've we've got John Smith because you've added notes you can now look at these notes and you can always open this um, to see what what you had written here so um, so that's how you would add somebody. You can add them really quickly and just keep all of their information there. Now, the next part of this is now let's say you've got like 100 leads and now you're trying to figure out who do I need to contact, uh, you know, today or in the next seven days. And that's really the power of putting in um, all your information into a CRM. So instead of you like finding this random sticky note and realizing that you forgot to call this person um, last week, uh, now you have a place where you can stick all this stuff in you just put yourself a reminder of okay i need to contact this person in the next um you know next week then you can come here and every day you can see who do i need to contact uh today so if this will filter by the next contact date so if you set the next contact date uh it will come up uh for that specific day or you can kind of see who you've got to contact in the next, you know, seven, seven days. Um, and so it'll tell you when you need to contact them and then kind of some information here. So that way you never forget to follow up. Right. That is, you know, a key thing, like how many times and I've done this, too, where you find the sticky note and you're like, shoot, I forgot to call them last week. You call them and they said they went with another agent like that is just, you know, like a stab in the heart. Right. So this um, this CRM is really designed to help you to follow up at the right time. OK, then the next two parts are really uh, just your pipeline. Right. So now you can see um, you can see like what's what's coming down the line. Right. Who are the new people that you have who are active, who are pending? Right. You can see, hey, if I don't have a lot of new people coming in, you know, that might be an issue because maybe you've got a lot of closings and you kind of. Um, you know, fell off of the lead generation. So you can see now in your pipeline who is who's in your seller pipeline and who's in your uh, buyer pipeline as well. And so this is just a really great way to kind of just overall see what's happening in your database. Um, and of course, uh, you can, you know, add even more uh, different ways to view your your database and different ways to customize it. I'm going to have a separate uh, video just on how to customize this thing uh, for for your needs, but 
out of the box, this is something that you can just start using and just get your contacts in there so you don't forget to follow up. So again, I'll include um, a link to where you can get this um, in the notes below. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks.